What is going on YouTube? Today we are back with another video. We have another pair of breads on the channel, but today we're going to be doing a full restoration. So we're going to be cleaning these up a great deal. Um, I don't know what that is on there, but so much yellowing too. Like these don't even look gray anymore at all. There's no hints of gray. It's just completely olive now. And then you come to the bottoms. Bottoms are awful as well. Um, they do need some paint work. I told the customer they need some paint work. He said, um, I'm gonna show him how everything looks after we clean them up and then I'm gonna show him and then he'll decide he wants to get the paint done, but the paint definitely needs some work. So yeah, let's just go ahead and make these look as good as possible. All right guys, now it's time to begin the cleaning process. I've already removed the shoelaces. I'm gonna be using some rejuvenator with a little bit of dish detergent mixed in there and some cold water. And I'm also going to begin the cleaning with a medium texture brush. So I'm just gonna start from the tongue area, make my way around the entire shoe. I'm gonna switch over to a stiff texture brush and I'm gonna clean up the entire midsole and outsole area. Now after cleaning certain areas, I just use my microfiber cloth and that's what I use to dry up the soap so that the soap, the soap doesn't like stay inside of the material and dry up the shoe a little bit. uppers are all cleaned up. We have our stiff texture brush right here. We're just going to clean the entire outsole mental portion. Alright guys, we are now at the sole detailing portion of the video. Um, I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife, Q-tips, acetone, and carton rounds and my Dremel tool. So first thing, I'm using the X-Acto knife to just go ahead and pick all the rocks out of the outsole, just like that. Then I'm gonna be using my Dremel to go in between every groove and just clean out what couldn't be cleaned out during the um, initial cleaning. Then you use the Q-tips, you dip them in the acetone, you rub between like these big grooves Screws like over here, in between there, there. And to top everything off, we just wanna use the cotton rounds with the acetone just to wipe the entire sole down, get all these dirt stains out and everything so we can go ahead and unyellow them. Okay guys, at this point, we're gonna begin the unyellowing process. Behind me, I have two sheets of clear wrap right here. I'm gonna be using some CCK sole sauce. CCK sole sauce. I have it in the cap right here. I also have gloves when you do wanna use gloves for this because this stuff does irritate your skin when it gets on it. But yeah, I'm gonna be using a thick paintbrush to apply it all. And we're just gonna start from the, we're gonna start from the back and just make our way to the front. So I'm gonna take a dip right here and I'm just gonna apply pretty much onto all the discolored areas, especially on the sides. You can see the sides look like an olive green kind of now when it's supposed to be gray. I also forgot to mention, which is very crucial, tape off the areas where the um, outsole connects with the nubuck. You don't want the source getting on the nubuck. Now, if it gets on leather, that's fine, but nubuck, um, suede, derbuck, you don't want the source to get on that. So definitely tape off those areas. Okay, so very simply, I just put the sheet of plastic wrap over it. I'm not gonna heat gun it or anything. So I'm gonna put them inside the ice box for a couple of hours and we'll see how they turn out. Alright guys, at this point I'm going to go over the shoe with my Pedag suede eraser. This is pretty much is going to be the refining the nubuck. Pretty much the last stages of doing this restoration. And if you have scratches on your wings, you can um, use, a, use acetone and some cotton rounds, wipe it down, and then use some matte finisher, go over it, and it will get rid of the scratches on the wings. I know that the wings get scratched up super severely. Alright, now I'm using a lint roller. Just to go over the entire shoe, get one of our little bits of thread or whatever sticking out, hairs, whatever it may be. All right, now that we've gotten rid of all the lint and stuff on the shoe, I'm gonna use some Angelus mink oil. Go ahead, spray it down. Then I'm gonna use my soft texture brush right here. Just go ahead, brush it all in. Put the shoelaces in and that's pretty much it.
All right, guys, at this point, the shoes are completely finished. They came out super nice, super clean. And look at that. I yelled them super, super nice. Even the soles look super good. Super glad with the way these come out, came out. The customer didn't want them, like, repainted or nothing. So they're still, like, chipping on the midsole and stuff like that. But the way I cleaned that up, it doesn't even matter because they still look pretty. They look fairly good. Like, here with how they would look on feet. In a sense, they look really good. So... If you guys want this treatment done to your sneakers, DM me on Instagram at Drastoration. If you have any questions or concerns, drop a comment or DM me. I'm always glad to help. And if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.